MLB prize picks for Wednesday, August 2nd. I'm Sniper from DFS Army. We'll jump right into it today with the recap of yesterday. It is a loss for yesterday, one for two. Ranger Suarez pitched a really good game. The strikeouts did not come. Only the third time this season he's been under four strikeouts, but we do miss. Pete Alonso homered in his first at bat. He got there, but at that point, damage was kind of done. Ranger Suarez uh, cost us the day, but we move on. At DFS Army, we are running some maintenance on the Proptimizer tools, so those are not up at the moment. They will be very shortly for uh, today, but morning content, morning video, I had to do something. So when I'm in this spot, I rely on Hitter Fantasy Score. Uh, and really, we're just going to pull some sports book odds and find some spots where I think there are value. So play number one that I did like today is Nico Horner, the 7.5 on the hitter fantasy score. As you can see, he's made it the last two games. Been hot overall in the last seven games. So last week, he's hitting 385, three homers, uh, and two stolen bases for uh, Horner. His The hits, runs, and RBI prop is set at 2.5. It's always a good thing when the number is even set at 2.5 on the sports book. It's plus 125 there. You know, it's not, you're not getting heavily juiced two and a half odds, but it's bumped up from one and a half to two and a half. He's plus 210 to draw a walk, and he's plus 300 to steal a base. Really solid odds there. As you can see, he's made it uh, the last two games. Last two last two weeks, he's got, oh, I almost read the, the base on balls. He's got four stolen bases in the last two weeks. Game against the Reds. I expect another high-scoring game here. Um let me pull up wants to pull up the total for these games. That's the one thing I don't have quite handy. It's on a different screen. Bear with me for just one second. The total in the Reds game is it is set at nine and a half, juice to the over, and the Cubs are favored. That, that bumps up that implied team total just a little bit. So for all those reasons, we'll go Nico Horner more than seven and a half on the hitter fantasy score for play number one. Play number two, call me a homer. I'm going back to my Mets players. Mets caused me a lot of pain, uh, <laughs> a lot of a lot of times. Alonzo Cash yesterday. I think we got Lindor last week as well. I promise it is odds based, and not just that I am a Met fan. And you shouldn't hate me for being a Mets fan. You should pity me even. Um, it's Francisco Lindor more than eight on the hitter fantasy score. Also, as you can see, he's been over the last three games. I just realized, I think some of the stats I just read were for uh, for Lindor instead of Horner. I totally just flipped those on you guys. Um, so I'm going to go back for just one second. Horner, he is hitting. He's hitting 300. He does have two stolen bases over the last seven games and five over the last two weeks. Whereas Francisco Lindor, he's the one who's hitting 385 over the last week with two homers two stolen bases, and four steals in the last two weeks with about a 380 OBP. Sorry for the confusion there. Both guys hitting over 300 in the last week. Both are stolen base threats with Lindor. Uh, those odds I referenced earlier, his hits, runs, and RBI line is set at minus 155 for one and a half. So now we've got juice on the over one and a half number. He's plus 220 to draw a walk, plus 310 to steal a base. Those are good, good uh, stolen base prop numbers. If you are not familiar, that's... that's those are, are relatively high considering what we see across the board. Uh, the game total in this Mets game right now against the Royals, it is also set at nine and a half, a little bit of juice to the under there at minus 120. But the Jets are minus the Jets, who the Mets are minus 192 favorites, so probably an even higher implied team total than the Cubs. So we'll go Lindor more than eight on the hitter fantasy score. Take a quick look at uh, some BVP kind of live if they do have any. I will scroll up here. By the way, while I'm pulling that up, if you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, make sure you join us at DFS Army for all the plays we got. Code down there is Sniper20. It's under 30 bucks a month for plays on Sleeper, Underdog Fantasy, all sports. We got you covered. The door does not have any BVP that we need to be aware of. Uh, Horner, on the other hand, is one for three in this matchup against Brandon Williamson, straight up. So not a big, big sample size. It was a single, 333 average. Uh, that's what I got for the plays, though. Nico Horner, more than seven and a half on the fantasy score. Francisco Lindor, more than eight on the fantasy score. We lock in our play. Hopefully, we lock in some money today. 
bounce back from our day yesterday. Again, all the picks, tools, Discord plays, all this stuff is up at DFS Army. Make sure you guys come and check it out. And it's your daily reminder that whether or not you are a DFS Army member, you probably should be. But either way, good luck in those contests, and I will see you next time.